Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I am with Georgia, we are at Bluebird. Look how pretty this is, there's no one here. Beautiful setup, say hi. Hi. Um, we've just been shooting, but Georgia is my bubble for those of you asking, and I live alone, so Georgia's taking me under her wing. Poor old me. And we've just been out shooting, so we just come for a little mooch at uh, Bluebird Chelsea, if anyone's in London. It's a really nice spot. We've got some heaters on the go, it's really warm, but um, I'm still house hunting. I've still not found anywhere, and I'm very stressed out, but the house hunting continues tomorrow. We've got avocado and toast. Breakfast. We've got <laughs> chips. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Georgia's got a Caesar salad. Side what bag, bag we got today? The got, we did a Balenciaga unboxing last time, didn't we? Louis Vuitton today. Our suitcases. <laughs> Hi, guys. You're just balanced on top of a Starbucks coffee mug. <laughs> the tripod of dreams. Um, I'm feeling really stressed out. I had told myself I wasn't allowed to get stressed out and I am. Um, I've just gone to see another flat today. I actually went flat viewing yesterday but I didn't take my camera so I had a full day of flats yesterday. I just, none of them are feeling right. My gut instinct ain't happy. The only one that I did really like is way too expensive. Well, it's at the very, very top of the budget. Just nothing's feeling right. <laughs> it's making me feel really anxious. And um, because I was meant to move back in May and I chose not to because I was just too ill to do it. And I'm glad I made that decision because I don't think I could be doing this right now and feeling really anxious how ill I was back then. But um, it's not making me feel good now. But I know that I'm going to feel so much better when I get on the other side. It's just. I can't find a flat that I want to live in and when you're spending as much money as you have to in London like the prices are ridiculous and when you're spending that much money you have to love it and I remember feeling like this when I was it took me six months to find this one and I know this isn't anything special but like it just felt right when I came it was just had a it just had a vibe which was just really warming and I liked it um, and I just can't find that again. And I know if you've been watching my Insta stories or like I think put a few snippets in here, some of the places look really good, but there's always something like, there was one I went to see yesterday and there was a building site next door to it. And with YouTube, I can't be next to a building site. <sighs> there was one with a TV in the bathroom yesterday, but then the rest of the flat was tidgy. So like, it's not as good as it looks. I just went to see one. It was literally behind a top shop on Oxford Street, which would have been amazing. It had two bedrooms, bathroom, and it had like this little, what I would call a beauty room. Like, with, with, with it was like a glass greenhouse thing, but like separate, so it would have been perfect for lighting, for makeup. And there was a roof terrace. Oh my God, to get to these two places. So it was like a two bed flat, and it had like this little, beauty room and this little roof terrace and two different stairs but the stairs to get up to the roof terrace for instance I generally thought I was gonna die <laughs> like the stairs going up to the roof terrace was so dangerous like I'm like it was like abseiling to get to it I was like after a glass of wine trying to get up to my roof terrace this is this is gonna end disastrously so that was a no and I just thought I'd turn this camera on to give you an update because I've just gone into like a... Before I start the next clip, I wanted to show you the hair. Take note of how knotty it is, how bad it looks because I've got really fine hair and it... <laughs> I've got really fine hair and it gets so knotty and I really struggle when I wash it. It takes me ages to like get all these knots. Don't know why it does it. It goes into like dreadlock. I think it's because it's really fine. So the next clip, I'm going to explain to you why I've showed you this fantastic shot of me. So I have just washed my hair after this day I just showed you in, and I actually have something to share with you. So these next products were really inspired by my new flat hunt. So one of the things I was looking for when I was searching for a flat is a beautiful bathroom because I don't even have a bath in this flat and I just wanted a really lovely like 
marble bathroom just like very clear and what i hate in these beautiful bathrooms especially when it's like the hotel vibe i hate like lots of shampoo bottles and like the ones you find in the supermarket just lying around i feel like it just ruins the vibe so in my new flat which is happening very very soon i wanted to keep the bathroom such a really beautiful peaceful place for me so the packaging when it comes to the shampoo and conditioner I'm going to use is so important because I'll probably leave it on the side of the bath, let's face it. <laughs> I'm not that organized to get it out all the time. So I have partnered up with a brand called LMA. They are a hair product brand. And one of the most amazing things about this brand is the packaging. So let me show you the products. Like, look how beautiful these just will sit on the top of my bath or something like that. I don't feel like I'd have to hide them in this brand new bathroom that I haven't even got yet, but it will happen. So LMA have sent me two products that really match my hair. They have lots of different products for different types, but this really matches my hair because as you know, I have quite fine hair. So the hair that I have, I have to make sure I keep. And one of my biggest problems is I get really knotty hair. So when I brush it, I have, that's where the most hair loss comes from because it's so knotty. So the thing about this, oh my gosh, you put the conditioner in and the knots just slide out. I've actually never experienced anything quite like it. So the amount of brushing that I have to do to get the knots out, it saves, A, saves me time and B, saves my hair. So they've sent me the Truly Nourishing Supreme Protection for visibly stronger hair and radiant hair, the shampoo. And then I have a mask, which is for forever shine revitalizing mask for extreme hydration so let me just open it and show you what it looks like it's very clear oh it smells so good it smells like sweets you know when you go pick sweets up like like sugary fruity sweets oh it's lovely it reminds me of like um Whenever I go to stay at hotels, you'll always see like the ones that I go to in Paris in particular, like the ones recently I've been to, they always have really chic shampoo and conditioner on the side. Like you don't get really wacky shampoo bottles or really branded shampoo bottles. It's just very, very sleek like this. So it gives me very Parisian chic vibes. I've been using it for a couple of weeks and the shampoo in particular foams up really, really nicely. And it just feels like you're getting all the dirt out of your hair. And then I pop on the mask on whilst I like shave my legs and do all the other things in the, the shower that you do, scrub off the fake tan. And I leave, leave it on for a few minutes whilst I'm showering. And then, oh my gosh, all the knots, everything. I can just, it just, everything is so smooth. So next I am gonna show you, I'm gonna give myself a blow dry and do my hair so you can see the after effects. Cause I don't think I really ever do my hair on this channel. So you can see um, the condition of my hair afterwards. I've been really concentrating on getting my hair in good condition. Cause as you know, a few years ago I had, um, I was on Maractane treatment for acne and my hair, hair fell out, like a lot of it. So I've just been getting it cut and cut and cut to really try and get it in good condition. And so hopefully, um, combined with this and not not having as many breakages, I can really help and show you how my hair looks. So let me tell you a little bit about it. There's mostly natural ingredients. My hair just feels so much softer. And um, they use 35 or less synthetic ingredients than other brands and it is not tested on animals which is amazing and actually the good news is i have a 20 percent off code i will pop it here all you have to do is use it at checkout i will leave everything linked in the description box below so i start off by just drying my hair upside down really really simple okay so i've literally just blasted it dry and i have kind of like frizzy fine hair so um, naturally my hair literally just sticks to my forehead so to create a little bit of lift and for like a bit of um, bounce and volume I'm gonna show you a trick of what I do so I always part my hair on the opposite opposite side of my head to my actual natural part because I think that naturally gives you a bit more volume and then I'm just gonna take a section of the hair and then back comb it a little, little bit and then I take the straighteners and I whiz that up and then I put it on a very low heat and then I just wiggle it around and I find by doing this just to the top section of my hair it really smooths out the frizz and also gives me volume so let me get back to you when I've done that so now that I've done it at the top section me nana curls I'm just gonna run through the bottom it's 
so it feels so silky smooth so lma products have an ingredient called karanja oil which is 100 percent natural like the actual ingredient and it helps protect your hair from a lot of shampoos that are on the high street really like strip your hair of all the nutrients and stuff so this oil really protects your hair from shampooing so i think i've mentioned before that my um skin is really sensitive like i can't put a lot of skincare on it because i mean i'm i think i'm allergic to like certain chemicals that like a lot that's in a lot of beauty products so i tend to go for really natural beauty products and lma is really has really natural products in it so if you two suffer with sensitive skin definitely give it a go like some conditioners and shampoos really break me out in my scalp and like around my hairline um so i always turn to shampoos and conditioners that are a bit more natural so there you have it that's usually how i do my hair i'm not blessed with like the thickest hair and just little tips like this like using products that really work with my hair and also giving it a little bit of bounce at the top really really helps so if you two struggle in the same department as i do i hope this little tutorial helps and it just feels so soft <laughs> so so soft and i cannot wait to put these products in my new bathroom they're gonna look so good and yeah don't forget the discount code and i will link the products in the description box below good morning guys oh, i look rough this morning i'm a little bit stressed i've not been sleeping very well i have exactly two weeks till i have to move out this flat i still don't i still don't have a flat to move into so we are gonna go on to a massive stress this week i have to find the flat this week wish me luck um i'm just gonna do a little unboxing for you so i saw these boots on my friend kate the glow edits um instagram and i was like i need to have them i have a feeling that they might look a little i have a real trouble with boots in the way that sometimes they make my legs look a little bit plant potty like they're quite baggy on my teeny tiny calves um but i thought these looked so designer for asos um so i hope they do look good i think they reminded me of like the givenchy boots like how designer does that look very givenchy very givenchy so i have a feeling though that they are going to be way too wide if anyone knows where i can get slim um boots from i know there's a brand called duo boots that um measure to your leg which were great i've got some from there before but it's not quite the style that I want, other than the ones that I have already. But I want like sexy boots like this, that possibly come in a little bit smaller. This is, this is where I tried them on with my pajamas again. Oh, they're a little small. Oh my god, they're tiny. Okay, size size up. Oh, I quite like these. Just about to put on Saint Tropez. This is a little bit of my, sorry, the washing machine's on if you can hear it. Um, so whenever I feel a little bit pale, I always put the self tan purity on. It's like a mist and like literally just spray it on like this. So whenever I wake up and I'm like, mm, Laura, you look a bit dead looking. I do <laughs> Just swallowed some. Um, I do that, but uh, make sure you, I always pop it in. Some people don't do this, but um, I find, it just like has a nicer finish when I do that. So I just put that on underneath my makeup. It actually is um, a really nice base, I think, because it will just develop throughout the day. So you'll wake up like Casper in the morning and then by the afternoon, you're like a great goddess. Right, so on the agenda today, I am actually going to go shopping. I told you the more stressed I get, the more I go shopping. Let me turn you down, there you go. And then I'm gonna try and see if I can get some flats flat viewings in as well um i was just i spent six months waiting for this dream apartment and like there's just nothing i'm like i don't understand how like the price matches what these flats are like if i saw if i showed you some of the properties they're just so such like i don't like awful properties on the market at the moment i feel like this is the worst batch it's been since like the start of me looking so i'm just praying that this week a nice one comes up wish me luck wish me luck i like really really 
really panicking <laughs> but we'll be fine so i'm just going to take you with me a couple of days actually i did when i was so i opened this vlog didn't i and then i took a couple of days off i went um i saw a few more flats that's really noisy isn't it so a few more flats i'll wait till it's had its moment gosh i am hot so this is from a brand called javona london um you might have remembered a purpley tweed, like a lilac -y tweed jacket I got from there, maybe in like May. So this is a really beautiful coat. Ooh, it's like um, a creamy, creamy coat. Definitely needs a steam. <laughs> this is the gist of it, but um, I'm gonna wear it today, I think. So I'll show you it properly with an outfit on later. As I say, very excited for the outfit of the day mirror right now to put some makeup on. Lots of you are asking about my eyelashes and what I do to my eyelashes. Um, I actually have such a good like hack. So let me show you what I use. So I never really used to trust lash serums. I used to think they were a bit of a fad. My lighting on this camera has gone really weird. So I apologize if it's gone weird. Um, <sighs> So I use X Lash eyelash serum, and I started using eyelash. I started using eyelash. I can't even say that. Started using eyelash serum um, in lockdown because I had eyelash extensions. Eyelash, the eyelash. I can't say eyelash today. The eyelash extensions ruined my eyelashes. I was literally bald. Um, so I had an eyelash serum in the cupboard that was just gifted to me in my PO box and I just started using it. Then after like a month, I was like, oh my god, my eyelashes are so long. The bottom ones as well in particular. Um, so now I put the, you have to put it on every single night. The moment you skip a night, they'll start to break off. So you have to be religious in using it, but I 100% Use it every day for about six weeks and you will have incredible eyelashes. So I use a combination. I use the waterproof, this is really odd. So the key is I use a really old Volume Million Lashes L'Oreal Mascara. It's like really dry, there's not much on it, but I do the curling section of my eyelashes whilst there's like not much on it. So I'll curl my eyelashes. Put a little bit of the dry mascara on, so it's got the tiniest bit of mascara on. It just gives it that little bit of extra rigidness for it to curl without breaking them off. So I do two coats with like literally nothing on them, so it gets a really nice like fan. And then I do the Marc Jacobs new mascara. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the the blue the bumblebee one. It's the gold and black one. I'll link it down below. This mascara is incredible it will make your eyelashes look like you've got false ones on so i will show you the before and after now am i in focus i feel like i've just done is my laundry on my bed in focus throughout that whole thing <laughs> damn it there we go i mean now i'm in focus god do you would have thought after years of doing this i would have got the hang of this youtube thing so i will show you now this is the before I have really see-through eyelashes, like, oh god, my eyebrows. <laughs> you would have thought I'd comb them through before turning the camera on. Um, oh, it makes me laugh. You know the video, my corona video that hit like 1.5 million views? I was like, why did I not just do this? Like, my eyebrows are like... <laughs> anyway, um, my eyelashes are like really see-through, like, they're just, like, literally see-through like they're quite long now but like they just look nothing with that mascara on because they're really see-through they also go like this like they're not straight they're not curly they go like this so let me show you what i do with them because i'm just about to put my makeup on and i'll stop in the mascara bit and every time i vlog i'll maybe talk you through a section of my makeup to show you so yeah god my lungs so there you have the finished eyes, like the difference. Can we just talk about the difference between the before and after? So, so good, honestly. Marc Jacobs mascara and the X Lash serum. I'll leave them both linked down below, but game changer, right? Now I'm gonna go to clean my teeth and put my lipstick on. But we did my lipstick last time, so I'll come back to you afterwards. Done. I have just got a very exciting delivery. I thought I'd open it with you guys. I really need to clear that, don't I? 
Okay, so this is a beautiful handbag from Strathbury. It comes in a box like this, and I just fell in love with this. Um, this was kindly gifted. How beautiful. I didn't realize it was teeny, but I quite like, I quite like the fact that it's tiny. It looks bigger, but it, oh, so cute. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> it's the cutest. That is the cutest bag I've ever seen. How cute. <gasps> it is the teeniest, tiniest. Hello, friend. <laughs> How gorgeous would that be? Like just over a big chunky knit or something? Really, really cute. Right, project today. I'm gonna go Westfields because when we're stressed, we're shop. And then I'm gonna meet Georgia. We're gonna shoot some pictures that we need to do for a clam. Put that on the background, ruining the zen. <laughs> and then I am gonna try and, f and find a flat. Hang on, me mum. Hello. Okay, outfit on. I have on uh, white polar neck, uh, Holland. I'm very excited for my outfit of the day mirror. I will sort this out very, very soon. I've just made an absolute bomb sight of my room. Um, but this is the outfit, if you can see. I have on, let me put you up a little bit. So we have on today this coat from Javona. I love the gathered sleeves because I, I always roll sleeves up. So for me, this is amazing. And then I've got my jeans on. We've got some boots. These are actually from Sheen. Um, I'm on the hunt for some really beautiful everyday boots with like a low heel. I'm a bit of a heel wearer, but I want like a, a low heel. And I have the mango bag to go with it because I've got my laptop with me, which is really heavy. <laughs> but this is the outfit. And yeah, let's go hopefully find a flat. Hi guys, oh just my. in Westfields. I'm just sat down on a computer. This is it called Cafe Concerto? Beautiful. Um, but I am continuing the house hunt to wish me luck. Maybe today is the day. Good morning guys. It is the next day. Um, I didn't go to see any houses yesterday. I couldn't get any appointments booked in. Really need to sort this out, don't I? <laughs> I actually have to show you this later. Um, I'm just about to view a property. I wanted to show you the outfit that I have on right now. This is the Holland Cooper jacket. It's one of those absolutely miserable days outside today. So I have on. This is how it looks on. And I just absolutely love wearing it in days like this. Because it is so, so warm. Keeps all the rain off you. Yeah, and I think it looks really, really stylish still as well. And then I usually just pop it on with me Mark Jacobs cross body because it's really simple so i uh, actually explain the house hunting situation when i get back from this one because i've gone into absolute severe panic mood um but yeah i'll explain that situation when i get back hi guys i just went to see a property this area is beautiful really nice area um i don't know what it is i just i know when they're seeing these these videos they look like lovely online but my gut instinct is just not happy don't know what it is i don't even know what i'm looking for i just know that i'll know when i find it like this house is lovely let me show you it how pretty really nice houses around here be really handy to shoot but um yeah my gut instinct's just not happy about it and i always listen to it because it's always right so i actually am going back home now i have um, a Zoom meeting with something really exciting that's coming up actually. I have not really explained a lot. I can't, didn't think I can tell you until the release date. But basically I'm um, designing something with um, a brand. So I'm doing like a design meeting with them. So it's very exciting. And like I've never booked so much work in all my life this week. And I'm so busy. And I just am um, very stressed, very stressed. But you know what, if nothing feels right, I'm going to go home for two weeks or three weeks just to chill with my parents and then I'm going to head to Paris and then I'm going to stay with Georgia in December and um, house hunt again in December because if I'm not happy there is no point spending all that money on a flat that I don't like. So that is the plan of action, I'm trying to stay calm, stay calm. I just got in, it is literally the coldest winter wettest day it's like one of those miserable days you know when the air's like really fine so i've just whacked up the heating on made a cup of tea i've just got my laptop here ah! 
every time I talk to you, I swear, I get tea on myself. Um, I'm in the middle of my PO box. So I have a meeting now with, um, I have a Zoom meeting. So it's real, very exciting. So I just thought I'd uh, pink you along. Um, it's gonna be me and on the other side, a team of people. So I'm gonna try and act professional. <laughs> try, well. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I can include and what I can include, but it's gonna be very exciting and it's gonna be coming very soon for you guys. Um, so yeah. Good, how are you? Good, it's so nice to meet you, Laura. Nice to meet you. Is it really early in the morning over there? Um, I'm just yeah, laughing because I tried to sketch on my, um, I don't know if you've seen the mood book, I tried to sketch. really good. <laughs> I was like, I know what I want in my head. I was like, I can't find a picture. I was like, I'm just gonna sketch it. And I was like, I hadn't drawn since school. Oh. So I was like, this is fun. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> I can't tell you. But it's gonna be really good. It's gonna be really good. Good morning. It is house hunting day number 100. And oh, my lens cap is broken. I've just done a Zoom um, video um, recording for IGTV with uh, like a brand. And now I'm gonna <laughs> go view some houses. I'm really trying hard to like keep doing my job and view houses, but um, I've started to pack. This is the situation. Um, very, I, sh I cleared my battery out yesterday. I have a million beauty products to give away. It's all gonna come. I'm just gonna find it. Today will be the day. I'm gonna find it today. <laughs> I'm just currently stomping around Notting Hill. This is Notting Hill. Um, a little part of it. It's really quite strange. There's like lovely parts of it, and then there's really like graffiti parts of it. It's very confusing. Um, just went to view a house. It was lovely, but the hallway was really grotty. Um, it wasn't a nice vibe walking into it. So I'm gonna keep looking, I've got a few more this afternoon. I am so over house hunting. So, so over it. <sighs> Fingers crossed. So I don't know when I last left off. I think it was in a Notting Hill. Do you know what? I've never really, I never really hang out in Notting Hill. It's a bit of a weird one for me. I know it's such a blogger hangout, but Notting Hill, for those of you that don't live in London, is a big area and there's so many different sections of it. So when you say Notting Hill, it depends what part you're thinking of. Where I was at today, it's really weird. You've got like, it's just such a, ju I'm gonna use a posh word, juxta position, is that right? I used that wrong. <laughs> um, such a juxta position, is that, let's have a Google, that, that can't be the right word. Where have I learnt that from? The fact of two being seen or placed close together with contra, oh my God, yeah, it was right. It was, Notting Hill for me is a, juxtaposition of like different vibes it's very confusing so i don't know i lo love and hate i loved it and i didn't like it at the same time so i went to see i had another viewing this afternoon and i honest to god i was literally at breaking point so i have this day here is the 20th of october i have to move out next friday so i have i think about nine days is that correct just over nine days, like 10 days to find somewhere before I have to move out. So I had two viewings booked in this afternoon and um, I went and then I just checked the address, knowing what the property was that I wanted to go view, I just checked the address before I went and um, it was in a different area. So I texted her and I was like, I thought we were meeting at this place. And she was like, oh, I was meeting at another property I was gonna show you. I was like, well, you didn't tell me that. You know how estate agents take you to like multiple viewings? I hate that. I'd rather them just send me the photograph first. So she'd done this without informing me. She was like 20 minutes out the way to where I was. It was torrentially raining. So I was like, okay, I'll come to Ladbroke Grove. And then I went past the, st sorry. That makes sense. I went, she was in Ladbroke Grove, I was in Kensington. So I went past Kensington and then she was like, oh wait, I'll come to you, I'm in the car. So I got to Westfields, got off, and I had to wait 25 minutes in the rain to get one stop back because the train was slow. I think they, they, they lose their shit when it starts to rain. So I was about 45 minutes waiting to, to meet this woman and I got, I get there and she goes, oh, I've got the wrong key for this flat, I can't get in. I was like, okay, so you just, so I can't see the flat that I wanted to see. 
So we get back in the car and she starts taking me to Ladbroke She starts to tell me she's taking me to Ladbroke Grove and I was like, but there was another property that I at, were requested to view down the road. So why are we going to Ladbroke Grove? She was like, oh, oh yeah, we can't see that property either. I don't have the key for that. Or she couldn't get access to that today. I was like, so I can't see the two properties that I wanted to see today. Why am I here? And she was like, oh, I've got some amazing properties to show you. I was like, well, I have a real clear specification. Like, I don't want ground floor. Like, there was certain specifications that I had. And um, she was like, oh, they're both lower ground floor. So I was like, why am I here? I was literally at breaking point and I'd seen so many crap flats. Like, they do not look like the pictures at all that I was so over it. I came back home, it was about five o'clock and I just refreshed right move and this property came up and I was like, it looks gorgeous. The location is good. Um, ticked, it ticked all the boxes. So I just rang them on the off chance. I was like, can you, I wanna see this ASAP. She was like, can you come now? And I was like, just firstly, when's the move-in date? Like, when's the move-in date? And she said, the 9th, which is my move-in date. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So I quickly ran to go see it, because um, it's quite close. Got there, oh my God, it was beautiful. Like, the entrance hall, it had a concierge, it had lifts. I was like, this is amazing. It's so beautiful. So I am about to now put in an offer on a flat. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed they accept it and I can just move in ASAP. And actually the tenants moved out already. So technically I could move as soon as it's accepted. <sighs> fingers crossed. So to celebrate me finding a flat, do you know what? I have a theory like if you just think that you have it, everything just falls into place. And also what I've learned from this and what I always say, I never ever settle, like I don't get to a stage where I panic. I would have gone, so say if this flat falls through, I 100% would not buy a rent a flat that I'm not loving. I'd never ever settle, probably why I'm single. <laughs> but I'd rather wait out for something that I love than settle for something that I'm not truly 100% happy about. Because I know that just does, that really doesn't sit well with me. I have to absolutely love something. Um, so yeah, and I, I might show you, I'll show you a snippet of the closet now. You're just gonna sniff it. Cause if I uh, move in, I want it to be all nice when I move in and stuff. So, so exciting. I'm just hoping they're gonna accept the offer. It will take a day to get the keys and then hopefully by the weekend I can move in. How good would that be? Fingers crossed. So to celebrate, I am gonna get myself a delivery. I'm thinking a pizza. Maybe a pizza. So I ordered a pizza last week and I wasn't a fan. I had caramelized onion and goat cheese. I don't know what I was thinking. Ooh, not good. Let's stick to a cheesy margarita, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you. This vlog has been all over the place. I'm very sorry, but honestly, it's been one of the most, actually, I'm not gonna say it's been the most stressful week of my life because I feel like I handled it very well. I was like woman on a mission this week and I have so much work to do. So I'm hoping I can just put this off in and carry it, crack on with making videos and stuff. And yeah, I will see you hopefully with an update in my next vlog. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to show you if it's the one. It's got two bathrooms. It's got two bedrooms. One of them's a big, huge bedroom with the closet, the closet space in. And one's a smaller bedroom. So I'm thinking sleeping in the slightly smaller one because it's just me. I mean, it's still quite big. Um, having the closet one as like my studio, put all my shoes, my shelves, have the, the, the obviously the wardrobes, the clothes, and just have that whole big space for YouTube and stuff. And then it's got like a living room, kitchen area, and gosh, the bathroom, everything was just stunning. I'm so excited to show you. It's like a new build. I'm so excited to show you. Please, please be the one. Please be the one. Okay, I'll let you know next time. Bye.